Welcome to DMP Training Center. I'm Adam Barton, Corporate Trainer at DMP, and today we're going to talk about the multi-card format support on the XR panels. We recently updated our multi-card format to allow up to eight formats and allow you to choose between DMP format and whatever custom format you may need to use. Support for this was added in firmware version 192 of the XR panel. There are also firmware updates for keypads, 734s, and other devices, and you're going to see those on screen. The multi-card format allows you to use many different types of cards on the same system. And what we want to do next is just take a look at the keypad and see how that's set up. All right, well, we're here at the keypad and I'm going to walk you through the multi-card format programming. I'm actually going to show you how to do this through the installer options of the keypad menu. But just remember that you can also get into panel programming and make these changes in device setup and have the panel push that programming out to all of your keypads and your 734s automatically. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the keypad installer options. Select options, hit our wrench, and at the enter code prompt, I'm going to enter 3577, and that spells out INST for installer. Once in here, I wanna select my keypad options. And from here, we are looking for our card options setting. And here it is. So right now, this particular keypad is set to read cards in DMP format. If we need to change that to a custom format, all I have to do is select this. And now I'm given our three options, DMP, custom, or any. To work with the eight different formats that this device now supports, uh, you'd wanna go ahead and select custom and then choose which format slot you want to program. If you select any, then any valid Wiegand read will grant access at this particular device. But let's just go ahead and go into custom and, and run through the settings of, of one format at least. So let's just go ahead and program format number one. Right now it's unused. So like anything else, we're going to select that and give it a name. And now we get to set the specifics of this format. What's our, going to be our, our Wiegand length? Uh, where is our site code going to start and end? As well as where our user code is going to start and end. And then a few other settings as well. How many user code digits are we going to read off of this card? And there we have it. We have our 26-bit format programmed. So let's go ahead and program a second format. So now I'm gonna select format number two. And let's just say that we're also going to be using a 40-bit card. We can code length. I'm going to adjust that to 40. I'll leave my site code the same. But let's just go ahead and adjust our length. Let's say this goes all the way to the end of the card. Notice now that I've increased my user code bits, that the panel is suggesting that I use a larger number of user code digits as well. Uh, the default for a 26-bit card is five digits, but now that we're using far more bits for our user code, the panel is going ahead and suggesting that we use 10 digits in this case. Now, while the panel has suggested 10-digit user codes, we can of course go in here and select this and change it to whatever fits our needs. So maybe I'm only working with eight digits in this case. Once your format's been saved, you can just go ahead and hit the back arrow at the format number prompt. Now you can see that our card options are set to custom. And from here, you can just hit command until you get to stop. Well, I hope you found that informative. Uh, setting up custom card formats on our panels is a very easy process to follow. I uh, hope you have a great day and thanks for joining us at DMP Training Center. Thanks for joining us at DNP Training Center as we talk about multi-card format features of the XR Series panel. As Adam had already showed you, there's a lot of flexibility to the features, but we want to spend a little bit of time talking about what this means to you and your customers. So for example, now you have the option of choosing any, 
DMP or custom for your card format. And when choosing custom, you now have all eight slots available to choose up to eight different custom formats that will work on the DMP panel. So what this means to you when you're talking to your customer is that you're able to explain to them that as they're transitioning to the DMP control panel from what was previously there, if they have any mixture of various format cards that they wanna to continue to use, perhaps that's already being used by their customers or tenants, they can do that. Or if they had already purchased some cards that they have not yet used and they'd like to use them on the new system, they can go ahead and do that and they can continue to use any mixture that they want. Or if they're gonna transition over to DMP credentials as well, then you can have a mixture. So the DMP credential can still be one of the eight slots, or it can be eight totally different formats that are available. So there's gonna be a lot of flexibility, but what this means to the customer is that they're able to upgrade to DMP, have it take advantage of all the different features that we provide without having to interfere with any of the existing credential holders, typical routine, having to get new cards or anything like that. They get to continue as normal. So thank you for spending time with us today. We appreciate your business. Have a great day.